Nestled in the Pyrenees Mountains between France and Spain lies the small yet fascinating country of Andorra. Known for its picturesque landscapes and tax-free shopping, there are a few lesser-known facts about this microstate that may surprise you. Did you know that Andorra is home to Europe's oldest parliament, predating even the United Kingdom's House of Commons? Or that its capital city, Andorra La Vella, holds the title for being the highest capital city in the world at an altitude of 1023 meters? These intriguing facts are just a glimpse into what makes Andorra truly unique and worth exploring. Welcome to Amusing Learn, and today we will be sharing with you the top 10 surprising facts about Andorra. About Andorra. Andorra is located in the Pyrenees Mountains, between France and Spain. It has an area of 468 square kilometers, making it the sixth smallest nation in Europe. The population of Andorra is estimated to be approximately 77,000 people. The majority of inhabitants are Andorran natives, but there are also many people from other countries living in Andorra. Life expectancy in Andorra is high compared to other European nations. For men, it is 80 years, and for women, it is 85 years. People live relatively long lives due to the country's excellent healthcare system and access to modern medical facilities. Additionally, Andorra also has one of the highest GDP per capita in Europe due to its strong tourism industry. The Oldest Parliament in Europe Andorra is home to the oldest parliament in Europe, known as the General Council of Andorra. The General Council was established in 1419 and has been in continuous operation ever since. This makes its parliament one of the oldest democratic assemblies in the world. This legislative council consists of 28 members, elected by universal suffrage for a term of four years. All citizens aged at least 18 years old have the right to vote. Also, it has two co-princes, who are joint heads of state. The first is the President of France. The second is the Bishop of Virgil in Catalonia, Spain. Both co-princes have equal powers and responsibilities to Andorra. They both sign laws, represent the country at international events, and can grant pardons to people convicted of crimes in Andorra. The arrangement dates back to 1278 when Charlemagne granted the lands that now form Andorra to the Bishop of Virgil. Since then, both have had an important role in running the country together. This dual monarchy system is unique in Europe and provides stability for Andorra as each prince looks after their own interests as well as those of the country as a whole. One of the oldest national flags in the world The Andorran flag is one of the oldest national flags in the world, dating back to before the medieval period. The flag features three vertical stripes of blue, yellow, and red. The blue color symbolizes faithfulness loyalty and courage the yellow color symbolizes justice and freedom while the red color stands for strength and power the current design of the flag was adopted in 1866 when andorra became a sovereign state it is believed that its design was inspired by the french tricolors since andorra had been under french protection at that time additionally some historians suggest that it may have been based on the Catalan flag as well as a tribute to neighboring Spain, which also has similar colors on its flag. Unique official language. The official language of Andorra is Catalan, but Spanish and French are also widely spoken. This makes Andorra a unique place. Not only is it one of the few countries in the world where Catalan is the primary official language, but it's also one of the few places where three different languages are commonly used. Most of the population speaks Catalan as their first language, though Spanish and French are also widely spoken. This gives people in Andorra access to more than one language, something that can be beneficial for business and tourism opportunities. Despite its small size, Andorra has a rich culture and history. Many locals have adopted elements from both Spanish and French culture into their own, creating a unique blend that reflects the multilingual nature of the country. Euro is its official currency. Despite its geographic location, Andorra is not a part of the European Union. However, its official currency is the euro, making it the only non-EU member state to have the euro as its currency. The main reason why Andorra does not belong to the EU is because of its status as a microstate. With an area of just 468 square kilometers and a population of around 77,000 people, Andorra does not meet the criteria for inclusion in the EU. Despite this, Andorra has enjoyed close ties with France and Spain since its foundation in 1278. Both countries have provided economic support to Andorra over many centuries, 
leading to closer connections than many other non-EU countries in Europe, in addition to using the euro as its official currency. Andorran citizens can also travel freely within Schengen area countries without requiring a visa. Few countries in the world that don't have an airport. Andorra has no airport of its own, but has two heliports. The closest international airport is located in Barcelona, Spain, which is approximately 150 kilometers away or about a two-hour drive. This means that if you want to fly into Andorra from another country, you must first fly into Barcelona and then make your way to Andorra by car or bus. While Andorra may not have an airport of its own, it is still an incredibly popular destination for tourists. With spectacular mountain views, modern ski slopes, and a wide variety of cultural and historical attractions, it's easy to see why visitors flock to this tiny nation year after year. In addition to its proximity to Barcelona Airport, Andorra also has good transport links with other nearby cities in both France and Spain. World's Highest Capital City Andorra La Vela is the capital of Andorra and is located in the Pyrenees Mountains. It has a population of around 22,000 people and is the highest capital city in the world at 1023 m or 3,356 feet above sea level. The city offers visitors a unique mountain experience that can be enjoyed year-round. In addition to its high altitude, Andorra La Vela is also known for its picturesque streets and wide selection of shops restaurants, and entertainment venues. Visitors can explore the cobblestone streets on foot or by taking a cable car ride to one of the nearby peaks for an unforgettable view of the city below. The city offers plenty of outdoor activities as well, including skiing, snowboarding, hiking, mountain biking, and more. No matter how you decide to spend your time in Andorra La Vela, you are sure to enjoy your visit to this beautiful mountain capital. No military. Andorra has no military of its own, but its defense is provided by both France and Spain due to the Treaty of Good Neighborliness signed in 1993. The treaty ensures that both countries will protect Andorra from any external threats. This agreement allows Andorra to remain an independent nation, but also allows them to rely on two neighbors with strong militaries. This ensures that they can remain safe without having to spend large amounts of money on their own military forces. The Treaty of Good Neighborliness has been beneficial for all three countries involved. It has allowed Andorra to maintain its independence while still feeling secure due to the presence of French and Spanish soldiers within their borders. Additionally, it helps both France and Spain ensure stability along their shared border with Andorra while also strengthening international ties between all three nations. Biggest Ski Resort Andorra has become a well-known ski destination due to its large number of ski resorts. With over 200 kilometers of skiing slopes, it has the most ski resorts per square mile in the world. The biggest ski resort in Andorra is located in the Southern Pyrenees, with slopes ranging from 1,300 to 2,640 meters above sea level. It consists of over 70 different runs for all levels of skiers and snowboarders along with plenty of off-piste activities such as snowshoeing, tobogganing, and ice climbing. There are also several restaurants and bars scattered throughout the resort which offer a great variety of cuisine and drinks to enjoy after a day on the slopes. The natural beauty of Andorra combined with its many slopes makes it an ideal place for winter sports lovers. UNESCO World Heritage the Madriu Parafa de Clara Valley is a cultural landscape of the Pyrenees in Andorra that has been placed on the UNESCO World Heritage List since 2004. It is an area of approximately 10,000 hectares that contains a variety of landscapes, including forests, meadows, pastures, and mountain peaks. It is home to an abundance of flora and fauna, along with evidence of human activity dating back to prehistoric times, as well as more recent farming activities. The Madriu Parafa de Clara Valley represents an exceptional example of how humans have interacted with their environment over centuries. The Church of Santa Cal is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Andorra. This Gothic church was built in the 12th century and features impressive sculptures and wall paintings from two other main periods, Romanesque and Baroque. Thank you for tuning in. We hope you found our video informative. Please share your experience and thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with our informative content.